4,000 florins. We can't do much of anything there. We can get another thing on the doctor. We can get the brothel. The military barracks or the thieves guild. Let's go for the doctor. And go spend the remaining 1,000 on the... at the blacksmiths, but first I want to go down here and we can drop off um, some of our assassin seals that we have picked up so far. Let's see, I can't... Nah. They have to correspond to the uh, the statue that we took him from, and see that opens up some of the locks on the armor in a cutscene that takes unnecessarily long. I think we have one more, I can't remember. There should be three more Assassin's Tombs out there, which we will use to get the awesome armor. And uh, we can also drop off Codex pages here. There's no real necessity to do this, it's not like they weigh you down, but since we're here, might as well. You can see we've collected quite a few. No, go away, I don't care about it right now. Um, we've got half the codex pages right now. Um, if we were collecting feathers, we could also drop them off upstairs. Um, we can see weapons we've collected if we really wanted to, but I don't really care. I just want to go buy more. Let's even buy another sword, another better sword and uh, better armor at the blacksmiths. Um, Alright, we can't afford the chest guard yet. Could afford the spalders, but only just barely, so let's not worry about it. Um, what's the really good sword? Captain's sword is good, and the Florentine falcon is good. The warhammer is also fun if you fight the way I do, which is almost entirely by deflecting. So, it's cheap, and I actually quite enjoy this weapon, so we're going to go ahead and use that. I'll just count it again. Um. Any more cheap paintings to be had? Yay, cheap. Cheap ort. Again, if you buy all of this, it increases the value of the villa. Alright. And off we go. Back to San Gimignano to do those remaining plot points of uh, Mr. Jacopo de Pazzi's co-conspirators. We got Bernardo Baroncelli already and the uh, crazy guy who was yelling from the top of the tower and now we're gonna go and get the others. Who I don't remember what their deal is exactly. I remember that Getting Jacopo is rather tiresome because you have to stalk him for a long ways first. Anyway, all right. So I think we've gotten all the viewpoints in the city at the moment. Um, we'll come back and get those codex pages because it's going to make us do them at some point anyway. For right now, though, we're going to hire a horse and go north or east, rather. Go east that plot point right over there, but we'll hit this viewpoint on the way. So, let's grab a horse. Horsey! Hi, horsey! There we go. Alright. Yeah. Riding on horses in this game is for long distances is always kind of satisfying. Out across the sprawling Italian countryside, 
Jump. Wee. Get off the damn horse. Thank you. And we can go up here. This is another more simple viewpoint to get. More similar to the ones in uh, Florence. Nice and easy. Whee! Alright. And right back on the horse to go east. Andiamo! Which I guess means run, walk. I would have thought walk, but maybe it means run. Anyway. Wait, am I going to the wrong... Oh, I'm going south. No, we want this one. First. Oh, oh. oh face. Yeah. Off to co-conspirator number three. Who is, I guess, in that walled area right over there? Yes. Spetta, spetta. Um, where is our dude? Over here, Ezio. Over here? Where is over here? There you are. <laughs> Yo. We found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. Okay, uh, right. Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like it. Alright, with the help of Mario's mercenaries, subdue the villa guards and kill Francesco Salviati. Let's do it. Alright. So, we have our mercenaries with us here. And we are going in this general direction. Hey, homeboys. Ow. Bastard. I hate... I hate, um, uh, brute guards. It's really hard to deflect against them most of the time. Fuck. Okay, um... Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Combo. There we go. Got him. And these guys are also difficult because they will dodge much more quickly. I think they're called agile guards, so you have to be careful with them. Um, let's get this guy. Got him. Alright, good. So that's one group down. We have to get over the gate, over the walls. Um, the entry point is, I think, marked with... Oh, hello. Um, no, wait a minute. Let's go around to the other side here, because I think there's a way over the walls that's marked with a... Um, oh, right, we have to go up here. I think, maybe. I have to be careful about saying that anything is the right way because sometimes I'm remembering entirely incorrectly, so. Please leave me alone. I don't care. Oh my god. I think it's this direction, though. Oh my god. Way to not attract attention to yourself, Ezio. Right. At any rate, it's this way. Men, prepare yourselves! The assassin has arrived! Yay! I need to find a way to open the gates. 
Find a way to open the gates. The gates were over here. What are you doing, Ezio? Stop being an idiot. Nice. Excellent. Got him out of the way fast. Please die. Please die. I hate you. I hate you. Please die. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Please die. Oh, damn it. I don't care about the rest of you. I just want to kill this dude. Make him go away. Thank you. Excellent. Alright, come on. Uh. I warned you to stay away, assassin. You should have listened. Open the gates. Excellent. Yay, the gate is open. Good. That's a relief. I don't know who this dude is. What did I do? Oh, that's Salviati. That's who that dude is. He knows explains why he wasn't wearing armor. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. That answers when. Now tell me where. Fede dovrebbe dare conforto. Non pena. Requiesca in pace. Alright, so we know when and we know where because uh, Bernardo Baroncelli told us before that uh, they gathered at the church. So, we are learning the secrets of Jacopo de Pazzi. And we have completed the mission. So that leaves one plot point. Uh, that's right, I can't call my horse in this game. That's the other one. Or, er, um, that's Brotherhood. I think, um, for right now, our course of action should be to go in a generally southerly direction. I'd like to get hold of a horse first, if possible. If there's any roaming about. You can usually find some near most of the large structures in the countryside, but not always. Horse? Horsey? Horsey! Yay! You can basically take any horse that's just happened to be lying around. You don't have to own it or anything like that, which is cool. Alright, so there's our viewpoint. And then we'll go further south and get our final plot point of the conspirators prior to Jacopo. And then if there's any remaining time before the end of the hour, I will probably go get those two codex pages in San Gimignano. Good, there's our next viewpoint. And back on the horse. And south to the viewpoint. Er, plot point. Plot point, viewpoint. Easily confused, but not the same thing at all. And we have another large structure here where some evildoer has no doubt hold himself up. No, Ezio, get, 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 get. Oh, there's a glyph here as well in there. Can't see it though. Hello. Ah, there you are. Listen, we found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait. Before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. Is the smoke My bombs? thanks, friend. All right. The cowl does not make the monk. Infiltrate the abbey and kill Stefano de, de Bagnone. Let's do it. Okay. So all of a sudden it's sunny again, and we've got smoke bombs, which are quite useful for certain purposes. Now we're gonna see if we can follow these dudes for a bit. And... No. 
wait. We want to go this way, actually. 